Hey, what's up, guys? The Blitz here again. Welcome back to Minifor Assault Squad 2, and welcome to this uh, super fortress. Well, you're not welcome to it. It wants to keep you out, but welcome to the field of battle today, where we're going to put this thing to the test. I've created this thing, and uh, I'm not exactly sure how the Brits are going to handle this thing. Um, I don't even know where I began, but it ended up like this. It's absolutely insane. I haven't really decided to name it something yet, but I think something of this magnitude uh, deserves a name, not only just a super fortress. It should be called something German. I don't know. Something cool. Something majestic. Uh, post it in the comment sections below. I think we'll be uh, using this fort again. Something tells me right off the bat that the Brits aren't going to be able to make this, but I'm going to put the all the Allies th through the same drill, so to speak. We're going to give the Russians a try after this and then the Americans, um, but just look at it. Six Flak 88s, also known as Flak 36s, three Pack 40s, one Pack 43, which is the 88mm pack, uh, four Flak 38s. Eights, yes, not 36s, that would be the, the bigger ones. Um, they're the 20mm AA guns, uh, two with four barrels at the front and two with single barrels on the sides in the bunkers. More MG42s than I can count, plenty of AT infantry as well. Um, there's four MG42s in the bunker below there, which is pretty cool. And here's the renowned pack bunker. I think that's my proudest creation because it's so cool. It's like a, I don't know, it re reminds me of like a starship battery from Star Wars or something like lined up uh, on the side of a, a um, acclimator class or something like that. Uh, that's the uh, Super Heavy Pack 43. Um, I was going to have the Pack 44 deployed, which is a 120 mil AT gun, which is insane. Fortunately, it doesn't work very well with this mod. And I think uh, most of you paid attention to the Tiger tank in there. It's actually fully functional. It can't move, but it will operate its turret and machine guns and, uh, of course, its main gun. Uh, plenty of fuel canisters and explosive crates inside this fort as well. Uh, hundreds of German defenders, the elite as well. It's going to be extremely nasty. Before I start the actual fight and send in uh, wave after wave of British infantry and armor, the uh, crown jewel of this fort must be the 203 millimeter gun down below. Now, this is insane, but I can go a lot crazier than this. I promise you that. So, if you guys want, I can create a crazier fort with more guns. I have plenty more in storage, um, and we can create something absolutely hysterical. Perhaps a Japanese super fortress or an American one or something like that. But the Germans and their crazy constructions, I think they're they're the ones who are more more iconic for that. Um, but yeah, that's the 203 millimeter gun. That one's going to be tricky to disable. So well protected there in its concrete bunker uh, and all the sandbags, and we have all the flak. Uh, 36 is one over here in this flak tower, which looks really cool. Then we've got one on each side near the bunkers, and then three in the middle. That makes a total of six. Um, then we have some flak 38s. This are the single barrel, single barrel variant, I presume. Uh, 20 mil AA gun on both sides of the bunkers. These bunkers are low priority. They're on the side. Obviously, most of the uh, the British waves will be hitting the front, but they're cool to have on the side in case some slip to the left and right of the the main main front. There, uh, three packs in this bunker. These are going to be mean. 75 mil, looking really cool. Then we have this 88 millimeter beast right here. It looks like something from a different uh, from a different war, to be honest. Very cool. Um, the four barrel flak 38s, these are going to be very hard to, to deal with when it comes to the British infantry and whatnot. They're going to give them a very hard time. In fact, they'll also be targeting most of the vehicles because of their, their sheer um, suppressive effect. More MG42s infantry everywhere. And it's going to be really hard because the crown, obviously the objective here is to, to take the, uh, the radio tower up here and to disable all the flaks on the top. Once you've secured this area, you've pretty much taken over the fort. But look at the amount of defenses up here. Even just getting up here is going to be tricky. So many German soldiers in every single bit of corner and all the sandbags around here. Lots of explosive trucks and stuff around though, so it's going to be a very action-packed attack. I am super excited to see how it's going to go down. And, oh, there's even a mortar here and more MG42s. That's, that's really cool. And this is obviously the entry point for the infantry, just to get up through here. It's going to be a little tricky. No tanks allowed. There's plenty of tank obstacles, but I'm sure that mo many of them will be destroyed. Uh, there's eight waves, um, a total of 54 tanks, uh, 600 infantrymen uh, in various uh, kinds. Um, I have tier one, which will be three waves uh, similar to this one. Then we have a 
sort of a special wave in the middle, uh, which would be wave four. Then we have tier two, which is wave five and six. No, that doesn't make any sense at all, does it? Yes, five, six, and seven, I believe. And then the final eighth wave uh, is going to be wave eight, obviously, which will be tier three, commandos and churchills. I'll explain everything once we actually start the battle. I'm not going to have a timer on the waves. I'm just going to start, and once I feel that it's, uh, you know, uh, that it's um, uh, suitable to bring in the next wave, then we will do so. Um, yes, without further ado... Oh, yes, and by the way, for those of you who read German, I think even all of you uh, non-German speakers out there can understand what this sign means. Um, right, so it's going to be tricky. Not only is there a lot of weapons and guns on the fort, but getting into it itself is going to be extremely difficult. I'm going to be playing both factions today. Um, after each wave, I'm going to be sure to crew all the guns and repair the ones that can be repaired. If they're destroyed beyond repair, obviously I will not replace them. Um, this is just to make sure that the fences are acting properly. But I'm not going to be adding any units to the game or anything or, or aiding the, the defenders in any other uh, kind of way. Um, they're going to be handling themselves for most of it. So uh, without further ado, I think the introduction is... Uh, enough. This doesn't need much of an introduction. It's just uh, crazy in general. So first wave, it's going to be sent in in a second. We've got some Crusader AA MK2s with a 20mm uh, Oerlikon, and then we've got to, I believe, uh, four of the regular MK8 Cromwell, 75mm uh, main gun there, and uh, 60 infantrymen. So we'll begin with the infantry. Just to send them up a bit. Uh, obviously, once the armor arrives, they'll be moving up closer to the obstacles, but it's always nice to warm up with some infantry first uh, and then obviously send up the armor behind. Once the first wave has been sent in, um, I will pretty much only have to deploy the other waves behind because they'll be uh, under fire since the uh, defenses will have been alerted early on. Um, there's not much else to do. Let's, uh, let's uh, start this battle by looking at the attack from the German point of view. Like something just like this, just to get a sheer amount of the, or get a understanding of the sheer firepower that this fort brings to the field. This is uh, one hell of a construction. I'm very proud of it. Oh, we can see the 203 millimeter gun already aiming at the enemy, and boom! Flax are opening up. And the pack fortress, look at that barrage. Oh, what a volley. Oh my god. And we see a lot of return fire though. The fort is taking heavy fire already. Jeez, look at that. It's a constant non-stop firing of all these heavy 80 guns. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, attackers. Let's see what's left of them. Not much. <laughs> Under heavy fire. Look at this. We've got some infantrymen down here. Trying to stay in cover. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. The infantry and the MG42s didn't really kick into action all too much. Uh, I don't think we need to do a single uh, repair or recruiting of any weapon on this side. If I hold in V, we can take a look at German casualties. One man. One man down so far. From what I can tell. This flak is still operational. What about this gun? There's some blood down here. Oh, I think we might have lost the crew on this gun. Um, obviously, that gun is vital to keep crewed. So, I'm going to go ahead and select the German defenders. I'm going to make sure that we have people on it. So, I'm going to take some men from the defenses here and send them in around to get on the gun. Uh, it has two people. We're not, we want three people on it. There we go. And now it's active again. This is absolutely crazy. The attack is still going on, though, but I think it's time for wave two. And now, as I select the other waves, you can see that I've built an earth wall here just to make sure that the shells and stuff don't continue past it to hit things in the back. And this is pretty much what 540 men and, uh, I don't know, 48 tanks and vehicles look like. This is absolutely insane. Can the Germans defend? I don't know. But even if they can't, or even if they can, I, be, I will be sure to send other uh, nations on the fort and do, like, improvements and additions to it just to keep this, like, v very living, so to speak. So we're going to put these guys on free move. We're going to bring them up, and I don't think we need to do anything else than that. Uh, perhaps... Oh, no, the infantry's like, what's going on? Okay, well, you know. I'll send up some infantrymen. Just a few. I don't really need to command this a lot at all. 
the Germans will be sure to alert the rest of the uh, attackers briefly. Okay, just a few tanks. Move them up. Get a little spacing here. There we go. Look at the blood. Oh, jeez. But some of the tank obstacles have been brought down. Oh, okay. Well, that might be able to bring the tanks up a little closer. Obviously, note that there are mines, but... There we go. Let's take a look at the attack this time around. Onward! Onto the bridge. Look at him. Oh, track's disabled. That crummel has taken lots of fire. So what's different with this wave is that it's practically the same. Uh, it does have two Cromwells with a 95mm howitzer on it, uh, which is going to be useful in taking out the enemy positions. One just fired, and I think we got a direct hit on something back there. Obviously, that Cromwell was um, greeted with uh, the same greeting. <laughs> Jeez, look at that thing. Two shots away. Still rolling, and that thing is something you want to watch out for. HE weapons, or anything that um, says howitzer and high explosive, is something that's very bad for the defenses. The attacking forces would benefit more from heavy armored vehicles and, like, uh, oh, wow, and high explosive rounds rather than armor penetrating rounds because there's not a lot of AP targets, so to speak. And everything still seems very active. This flat gun here is taking a bit of a beating, so let's. Oh, Jesus Christ. Let's get some men on the gun. After wave three, we're gonna change it to, like, evening. And then we'll do night. And then we'll do morning again by, by, by the end of the waves. So that'll be really cool. Maybe we'll do we'll do uh, three waves of, of daytime. This is the second wave. Then we'll do three waves of evening, and then like two waves of night. That could be cool. Defenses are looking good. Let's look at the casualties. A few more this time. The MG gunner in this turret seems to have been killed. He's not very vital right now, so we might just put him up there later. We have plenty of reserves to grab back here. So far, all the guns are still active, and there are still fighters up here. Uh, judged by the fact that they're taking fire here from the German attackers or defenders. So, I think without further ado, Jesus Christ. Let's send in some more boys. This is wave three. This is the final wave uh, of out of the first three waves. This is the final tier uh, out of the tier one waves. So this one's going to be the best out of them, so to speak. Oh, jeez. Already instantly hit and killed. Um, so, what's different with this one? We've got the Crusader AA with a 40 mil bow force. Yes, Sweden representing right there. Some Sherman twos and lots of infantry. Still men from the 50th Northumbrian Infantry Division. They have dedicated 180 men to the assault so far. I believe. No, wait. Um, 60, 60, yes. 180 to be exact. Shermans are rolling up. Look at that. Going strong. The armor is working in their favor. They're getting a lot of shots on the Germans this time around. This is something the Germans would like to avoid. How's it looking? Pack bunkers are still active. Flak, this flak is completely destroyed, so that one's not going to be bothering the infantry anymore. But what they want to do is take out the heavy packs and flaks. Oh, God. Both force firing away. Infantry, moving! Oh, this is such an epic photo. Taking a few screenshots while I'm at it. People are retreating now. But there's there's a lot of natural cover. There's like a variety in the terrain here that does help the attackers a lot. Yes. Perfect. I don't know, that was a mortar shell, but that's that's an opening. Maybe we can get some people through there to get closer to the defenses. This is going to be very hard for anything to get through. My lord, look at that. Flax still active. This one is completely down, so that one's not going to be able to be repaired. A oh, bunch of body parts laying around. All flax are still combat active, and right now they're, they're ruining their own cover by shooting at the pinned enemies back here. Let's have a quick look at... Oh my god, it's even hard to tell because most of the bodies have been... Uh, have imploded or exploded due to all the... Look at this. 
Rated R. I don't even know what that means. Rated R for ridiculous. Is it an M for mature? I don't know. Promise me if you're seven years old, you should turn this off by now. This is way too much for you. Anyway, I don't want to get my videos age restricted. I don't think they will. Um, anyway. I think everything has come to a bit of a halt here. I think it's safe to uh, to welcome the evening. And since this is an arcade-style battle, I don't mind showing you the uh, works of that. So number eight will be perfect. It's not much later. It looks a little later. But... It's going to go from this to late quite quickly. Okay, let's bring on the uh, next wave. This one's very interesting. I'm very excited for this one. As a matter of fact, this is my airborne wave. This one's special. Well, this one really is. This one is something, something different. Jesus Christ. So, this should be 100 and... One man, one man was even hit back there. Free move. Let's go, let's go. So many airborne men here from the 6th Airborne Division. Huh? Cool, huh? And all I'm gonna do is make sure that these Jeeps with their static weapons get up to, like, both of the flanks so that they can deploy them and, and use them against the enemy. Look at the amount of airborne soldiers moving in right now. I think it's also 180 to be exact, uh, which is a very large number. Um, or maybe not. I don't think it quite equals the same number that the previous three waves had. That would be a little too much. But we're going to deploy these guns. We're going to get some people out of the vehicles to crew them all. This six-pounder here is going to open up the defenses already. The jeeps won't do much at all, but they're nice little support when it comes to the machine gun fire. But the airborne are going to try and obviously storm through the tank obstacles. We have a sergeant of some sort up here at the front leading the charge. Well, this is a special wave, but perhaps not a very convincing one. No, exactly. This is uh, the, 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 the 180 men from the 6th Airborne. That's a lot. That's as many men as we had in the previous three wave waves combined. And... Uh, Right now, I don't think manpower, right now I don't think soldiers and infantry on the ground, so to speak, is what's going to break down the enemy defenses. They've got a nice open path here into the fort itself, but uh, we want to get to this trench here. But oh, alas, this gun has been knocked out. It looks like the gun, the barrel of the gun is, is disabled. Let's uh, confirm. Yes, barrel is damaged. Let's see if we can repair. Um, no. We cannot. This flak is empty, but it's going to be recruited. Pack is still active. All the other flaks seem to be active as well. Wow. Well, I didn't expect the airborne to do any damage to the defenses. Just perhaps get a little closer to the actual enemy positions. Let's move up the support guns. This is cool. They're like hiding around here by the by the wreckage and all the mortar holes. Trying to get closer. How far can we get? Yes, not very far. And the second we try and get a little closer, we're going to just, I don't know, come under hell fire from four MG42s in this bunker. I, just, I can't even imagine the amount of rounds being fired per minute there. Look at that. Oh, mortar hit right in the hole. Kill two people. 20 mil relic on here and the 6-pounder. Providing covering fire. Look at that. They're shooting at the flag. I think they brought it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. Yes, they killed the crew. So that one is gone. I don't think I can get anyone up on that gun. Just to be sure that it's actually dealt with. Oh, jeez. The explosion killed them. Get one gun on that. Oh, nice. Let's get another shot at it. It deserves one more. Uh, 
There we go. That thing looks pretty uh, dank to me, so that's not going to be doing any damage to anyone. One more. Just looks cool, right? There we go. Now shoot at something else. Whatever you want. You're alive. Good. So the the wave did more damage than I thought it would. Um, <laughs> cool. This is really cool. Let's bring on... While they attack, let's bring on the 6th uh, wave. 6. No. 5th. 6. Oh, wow. 7, 8. No. 5. 6, 7, 8. There we go. And the bishop back here uh, is already firing. It's part of another wave, but it's already adding into the fight. That's cool and... A little inconvenient for the Germans, but this is already inconvenient enough for the attacking Brits. And this is going to be the first wave featuring Scots. They're new in this mod. Um, men from the 51st Highland Division, if I could read their shoulder patches and badges correctly. Um, more Sherman... Are these Sherman 4s? Sherman 2s? Uh, Sherman 2As, which is the 76 millimeter variant. More Crusader 40 mils. So just a mixed wave. But plenty of good armor. These Shermans are heavier armored than the Cromwells. Let's see what the... Oh, wow. MG gun just went down. Pack bunkers. Let's have a look from inside the pack bunker. Boom. Look at them. Such accurate fire. And these packs are modified to not have the... Uh, stands like the two legs um, the sides of the wheels just so that they fit inside bunkers and whatnot makes more sense looks very cool jeez look at that oh my lord fully functional so oh wow look Direct hit on one of the flak 36s. How's the attack looking? Oh, it's coming to an end, it seems. Oh, wow. That explosion. How is any armor going to get through this graveyard? I I'm not sure. There's so many craters which is providing... Interesting cover for the infantry, but look at him. Oh, I got a Webley. I'm gonna shoot you. <laughs> I don't know what he would say, but this gun is completely knocked out now. Look at it; it's been been punched through so severely. But the two or three millimeter is not uh, functioning anymore. I think this flak might be. I don't know what the Germans are gonna do to it. They have a repair kit out there. I think they've repaired it, except the shield is still down. Am I wrong or am I right? No, the gun is still active. So. It's, like, crooked as hell. So why don't you, like, take that repair kit? No, dude. See what you can do to it. There you go. Try. Just try. For the fatherland, yes. So this uh, skybox isn't overly interesting. Look at the Scots. What are you guys going to do about this, huh? In your tartan... Um, I don't know, whatever you want to call that. Shoulder scarves and... The cool Scottish beret, but um, I don't think it's going to make much of a difference right now. And the bishops back there are still firing. I wonder what they're firing at, because I can't see any impacts over here. This must have been a bishop hit. Perhaps this one here as well. I don't know what that man ran down to do, but I think this pack has been hit. And then he was blown off and had to run down and, I don't know, gather himself and run up again. Not sure. Oh, bishops are firing again. What are they shooting at? Do you hear that? I wonder what they're firing at. I don't see any of the impacts. The shells shouldn't... See? Hear that? They shouldn't be traveling that long. Okay. This skybox is moderately interesting. I think we can make it a lot more interesting. By bringing on some darkness. Well, let's do this one first. Like, evening rain. Like, 8 o'clock. Or six, seven o'clock. I'm not sure what uh, period of the age we're in, but this will be more interesting because I want it to be nighttime by the commandos set in, but I don't want the the entire force to be fighting in dark. To bed for the rise of dawn. There we go. 
more Scots coming in during the rainy evening here. It's been a good day so far, but I think roughly 400 Brits have fallen casualties here on this open field. Look at this brave rifleman up front with his Lee Enfield. Yeah, bastards! Look at him. What? Cease fire, I presume? The, 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 the smoke in front of him hasn't cleared yet. He can't see anything. And once it cleared, it proved that none of his rifle shells or bullets had killed anyone or anything. And he was gunned down by an MG42. Anyway, so this way. What is special about this one? Well, finally, we're bringing on Sherman 5s. Which is the more modern. I presume some of the earlier stuff we used isn't really accurate to the time period of 1944. Late 1944. But now we've got Fireflies. And, ooh, Sherman's with 50 cows on them. I think that was a double hit. Two Shermans and one. And that Firefly was just hit and burning. <laughs> I think this Sherman's still active. Oh, deja vu. I don't know. This. I've seen earlier waves do better against this. It's like the Germans are really stepping it up. But the infantry's getting closer. They're starting to make their way to the actual second line here of the tank obstacles. Not many of the front line remain, and most of the second ones here in the middle have been completely demolished from the German fire, and of course the British as well. So, the way into the fort is looking quite open right now. Okay. Listen, Tommy. Repair. Just get your tracks working. What does the minimap look like? What can the minimap tell me about the situation? Well, it looks very grim. We got a paratrooper back here who's decided to chill out for a second. Tank commander over here. Some infantry. Lots of infantry actually hidden around the craters and the other tank wreck, but I, I don't see anything happening out of that. So let's bring on the uh, sixth wave. Seventh wave. Why can't I count? This one's very interesting. We've got uh, Sherman with uh, rockets on the side. Two of those. Uh, plenty of regular Sherman 5s. Achilles, two Achilles, and two bishops. This might be the one that really turns the tide. This might be the one that really starts disabling the German defenses. And free move. Go at him, boys. Go at him. What can I do here? Uh, yes, I need to recrew some guns. Oh, I was just going to crew that one. Now it's gone. Well, yippee What about the flax? They're all active. This one's active. All the packs are still active. They haven't even taken any fire yet. I think that the Attacking allies need to target the packs and flags. There we go. Look at that. It they did it as I asked. But uh, no one's running out of ammunition. Nope. No. Nope, no. Nope, no. Nope. They're just waiting for targets to appear. And they sure are. Oh lord! Don't get stuck in here. Like go on the flanks, guys. This is a very bad evening to die on. Please. There are plenty of better days to die on. Oh, jeez. Achilles moving up. And the bishop. Don't want to see you wasted, bishop. You're my favorite. You're not really. You look kind of stupid, but... Your Achilles just opened up. I'm sure you can as well. Christ. Jeez. So, let me look. Do we have any of the rocket Shermans remaining? Any at all? I think they're all wasted. Um, I can't even differentiate the ones who had it. Or no, this one's active. Okay. Before something terrible happens to you, I'm going to fire some tulip rockets at the enemy. Come on, do it. Nice! Pack 43 down. That is actually something in the right direction. What we have to do now is, I guess, knock out another five flat guns and three packs and... That's nothing at all, is it? Jesus. We're not even going to get into the fort. Oh, man. The next attack needs to be rethought a little bit. It's going to be very special. It's going to be the last try. We have enough manpower and units in the final wave to break the, the remaining defenses. We really do. It just needs to be done with a little more precision. Like that we've shot down the searchlight. But a lot of I mean, all these positions have been disabled, and this flag is gone now. 
No, look at them. They're still gonna repair it. Both on the sides here are active. The pack bunker hasn't gone down yet, and look at the smoke pillars. I'm surprised my computer can still run this at a, at a acceptable frame rate. Guys, let's have the night come and wash over us. It's beautiful. It's it's. I've had better nights, but it's quite nice. Let's see. Are there any better nights to look at? No. Come on. This one's good. It's it's a little brighter. Otherwise, it's so bloody dark you can't see anything. But anyway, um. Two AVREs, one crocodile, and two regular MK7 Churchills per wave, along with 30 commandos. So that's uh, 60 commandos, 120 in total. How I'm going to do this is a little bit different. I'm going to set them up to the side, like on the side of the first attack. Then I'm going to allow them to advance from there, and then I'm going to take the other wave and attack on this flank, slightly to the left on this side. So the commandos are going to be moving up. Churchills, join your friend. Churchill. AVREs, commandos from the 4th Commando Brigade. They wanted special service removed from their name because it uh, affiliated them with the SS too much or it was too much like it, so... The men hated that abbreviation, so they got it removed. And look at the skins and models of these guys. I love them. I want to use these guys for more videos in the future because they look so good. So they got the commando hat, the, uh, the classic pullover, and everything else. The skill, the weapons. Oh, this, this tulip is still active. Hey, where are you going? We need your rockets and more now than ever. Let's make this one a glorious one, guys. There's only one person in it. It's only a driver. Fire at the, the pack bunker. We got him. We got him, boys. Commanders are moving up. But the Shermans are down. Look at them. The commanders are crossing over the lines now. Into the German minefields. This will be interesting. They're about to make it to the trench. Come on, dude, you can make it. There's cover down there. And the churches are coming up behind, supporting. Yeah, that's the mines we're looking at. <laughs> he was right behind him. All right. AVREs. Their range has been, like, really uh, nerfed. Because they're otherwise so overly powered, but I think if they get close enough, they'll be able to do something good. So I'm going to go ahead and send this guy up just a little bit closer. Hey, this one can actually make it through, and they're like assaulting. I haven't even ordered this one to do it. He's just going for it. One pack, 40 is still active up there. Oh, and the tracks are out. Bad spot to have your tracks disabled, but let's see if we can fire this thing. Yes, we could, and we hit something else behind it. Took out like an ammunition depot behind the actual bunker. Whoa, another flak down. They're starting to lose the uh, the firepower here. We have two remaining over here and we have two on this side. No, that one's down as well. So, nope. One pack and a handful of flaks is what remains. This might be a possible entry for the commandos. This might very well work. Oh lord, he walked into mine. Don't step on the mine, guys. What if you run through there? Oh. One made it through, but he was killed by something else. We need to bring in sappers, so... Commandos, hold your positions, because there are mines everywhere. And look at these churches just running through the minefield. The mines are too weak to stop these guys. He's coming in from the flank. Back down. Cool. Stop you right there. Stop you right there. Stop you right there. Can we put in an AVRE shell just to moisten them up a little bit? Oh, look at that. Double. Double trouble. I didn't expect this wave to be so powerful. Something tells me you should try and repair your thing. Or get 
killed by a mine or something. German soldiers back on the track now. Okay, see, they're being killed instantly. I think it's very fair, unfair. <laughs> they can't really make it through. Oh my lord! That's like a smoke discharge. Getting through this minefield is difficult. But we're getting all the tanks through. And I think we can advance on the fort itself. We're going to have night pass. We need to hit that mortar. Once we've killed that mortar, we've eliminated all immediate resistance. We overshot just slightly. Oh, there we go. Look at that. We brought down the tower, all the sandbags. That mortar is in the clear range. And... All sack. Okay, it's, it's gone. Good. Flax are still active now. What's up with the flax? Let me take over the Germans for a second. This one's still active. Uh, work. So, like, the crude. So broken down. I don't want to take down too many of the... Use too many of the defenders here and crew the flax, but... No, that one does not seem to be going to work. Yes! It does work. We shot up a Cromwell back there. Nice. See, they do work. You just have to really want them to work. Okay, well, that aside, we're going to lose too many defenders by doing that. Here's a look at the minefield. Um, barely any commandos remain, but I am going to give them the opportunity of a lifetime by removing some of these mines just so that they can get through. Just so that we can see. Because this is far too late now for these guys to actually win this. But I'm going to take the remaining and send them up here and have them get a little taste of what the defenses inside will look like. Five commandos. There's even a soldier behind the corner there. He just killed your squad leader. Come on. Okay, that's sneaky. Watch this. Yeah, it's practically impossible to break through with that number of number of troops. Whoa, physics. Okay, guys, let's uh, bring on the daylight. I think this attack has been epic, but it's come to an end with the remaining uh, Churchills. They kind of just broke through the enemy defenses, but infantry-wise. It's a no-go. What I'm going to do for the next video is we're going to try Russians, I think. And I'm going to get rid of all the mines, because they really prohibit uh, a lot of the gameplay functions. And maybe use less tanks and more infantry, because most of it is going to be going down inside. I really want to see, like, an infantry swarm of infantry storm in here and, like, break down the defenses. I'm sure you can do it. Just need a whole lot, because they're so heavily entrenched in there. Perhaps open up a few other entrances with some other tanks or something. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this super fortress. I will see you guys soon again. Bye.